so we are in the car waiting for our trip in it's still curbside so they do two at a time because when you get a bunch of them in there it's a little overwhelming and they'll chew on the doctor and they don't want to trip on them which I don't blame them but they they're not sure about their trips so most of the time they were in the back window watching people behind us or just crying but <laughs> So we're here just waiting. So we are, I think we're the first appointment. Oh, here they come. So they're thinking by giving kisses they can sneak out of the car. Which would probably work. Look at Lucy. Hi, big boy. Actually, he's a big boy too. Yeah, she's a handsome. Hi. Hi, lady. Hi, Lady Jane. Hmm. Are happy now because the car stopped and... I'm back here talking to them, but you know, when the car was going, we had some whiners, so I'm not gonna lie. It was mostly Francesca, though. <laughs> I could see her whining. She's, I bet you she's gonna be one of the biggest ones, though. Yeah, she's a tank. Hi, huh, Zoe. Hi, huh, Zoe. Huh. Hey, what are you doing, little man? You little man. Hi, babies. You guys ready to go to your new homes today? Yeah. Came home, had a nap, had some lunch. Now some of your families are on their way to get these little babies. These little babies. Come in, let's talk about it. This is where they decide they want to sleep now instead of in the welcome box. Because we're big kids, we just do what we want. Huh, Mr. Man. I got the right light this time. These shoes are very interesting. I'm going to have to chew them up. We are going to have to chew them up. Hi, Mr. Sledge. Oh, you sassy? Yes, you is. Hmm. So Zoe ended up being the biggest puppy. 19 pounds. This little lady. Which doesn't surprise me because she's not overly active like some of the other ones are. Like he, he's uh, 17 pounds, but you'd never know it because he's so friggin' long like Diesel. Long and lanky. So some of them are long and lanky and other ones are short and round like Zoe. So our little one ended up being Lucy Lou, the one that looks the most like her mama. She said I'm a good 14 pounds. Huh, Luce? You hear your mommy? She sees me in here. Raven, beautiful girl. Raven's a good size one too. Uh, Zoe we know is the biggest. Little uh, Rocky was like 16 something and Francesca was about 15 pounds. Not our biggest puppies we've ever had. Like our historical Motley. Yep, he's still record breaking. You guys weren't even close. You weren't even close. Uh, Emmett got close, but Motley's still the record breaker. He's still our record. He's still our record. Look at Sledge, he's so beautiful. I think he is. Look at these two little shrimps. And then we have uh, Zoe chewing off her sneakers. And Raven's got my pant leg. Sledge is being sassy because he can. He's oh oh that hurts, Lucy. Lucy, you got my legs already scarred up. Bug bites. Found a bug bite. Oh my God, Francesca trying to get me. So little Franny has a friend for the night, and then she's solo. Yep. Raven goes home tomorrow, so she'll spend tonight with her sister, and then she gets put in with the pack. Yep. So she'll be down with the big girls or in my room. <laughs> I have Nala though, still sleeping with me, Fiona and my husband. And she's such a good, sweet girl. She's gonna be heartbroken when I kick her out, if I do. So you're such a sweet tag, look at that little face. I love these little split faces, which uh, Nala's litter comes from a lot of split faces, even though Lala, Nala wasn't. But Farley and Ebby carry a lot of split face, so I think that's where these guys, we got a couple of them. Huh, Rave? She's a beautiful girl. Look at that little face. Oh, she's so sweet. Even though she likes biting me. 
So, I'm just getting ready. Getting ready to go. And they just had their a lunch, mid-lunch, and had a nap since we've been back. But what's going on down here? Someone biting somebody? Yep. I think that's what it was. Sludge is biting Francesca's leg. So Sledge is going to a family that already has one of our fawn Danes from Ellie. So he'll have uh, another Dane to play with. I believe Lucy has another Dane to play with at her house too. <laughs> hey, let's not make each other cry. Jeez. Uh, Raven does too. She's going to a house that has one of our Danes plus another Dane puppy there. So she's going to have a puppy of her own age to play with. I think the other puppy's a little bit older, so there she's also going to a, a home that has two other Danes. Um, so it's kind of cool. I like when they have buddies to play with. Makes me feel better because they do love to play. Look, you know, the potty's in there. You're such a smart boy. Yes, you are. So we'll see. Still using the potty area. Good boy. Look at him. I'm gonna come back out now. I think he's built the most like his dad. Look at him. They're all interested in the shoes. Except for Rocky. He's playing by himself over there with a bone. Rubber bone. Ouch. 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 I'm gonna send your mommy in. Oh, Lucy's cleaning herself up. Oh, what's up, Mama? You guys hear your mommy? She's on, on the other side of the hall having a fit. But they still try to nurse him her, so I do let her come in, but we just don't keep her in as much. Huh. Hi. So it's Sunday afternoon, and... Some of our plans got canceled due to the rain, so we actually had time this weekend to take the girls' couch to the dump, and they are not enjoying having to sit on the floor. Uh, is decided to sit in the chair, one of our chairs. And Fiona's here, so we just had that one cushion left from the couch, and it's the funniest thing to see old Chubby right here trying to fit on there, or even um, Ebby too, so. They definitely do not like being without the couch. So we just got this couch maybe a year ago. Um, we do buy them from big lots kind of. So to us they're kind of throwaway furniture. Uh, you don't spend a lot for them. We used to buy Italian leather because we thought it would last longer and it doesn't. So we buy um, just cheaper furniture and the girls are not happy. <laughs> They are without a couch. Um, so today we went out hunting and we were able to score them a couch. So we will see how excited they are when we get the couch in here. And as you can see, it's raining out. So thank goodness that um, the couch is wrapped up in plastic. This is why most of our plans got ruined for to this weekend because it's rainy. But um, I think the girls will be happy that we got them their couch and they no longer have to sit on the floor. So today I've decided to do Ebby's ultrasound to see if we see sacs or not to confirm her pregnancy. And if we do, she'll be due beginning of July. She'll look at her, she said, oh no, she's got that machine out. She has such a good girl. Oh, I love you too, Abigail. Oh, she's not this. There they are back here. So you can see that one in the sack. Uh, all the puppies are further back. I was up to. 
Yes, you're a good girl. So all those like little individual sacks are puppies. I'll magnify it so, whoops, no, I don't want to hit that button. Where? Here's a zoom so you can see them clearer. So that's a sack with a puppy inside. So just in this picture alone, there's one, two, three. Oh, she's going to stretch out for me. What a good girl. So there they are. So she's definitely uh, 30 days, if not more, because you can see how big the puppies are inside the sack already. Let's see. She's being a really good girl. So how many did you see in there so far? Well, for ultrasound, it's basically just to confirm. If you want a head count, you have to do x-rays. Oh, okay. So this just tells me, yes, she's pregnant. And I can see multiple sacs, so it's not just a single ten or two or three. Though, um, uh, they can still absorb at this point in time, but... Evie usually has big litters, but you just never know. Every litter is different. Yep. So somebody is enjoying her new couch. It's the same exact couch that she had. Fiona. Fiona. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, she's just stretching it out. Oh, she said, this is nice. Scratching my back. Oh, you scratching your back on that? Yep. Go You're so go. silly, Abigail. Hi, Maggie. This is like when you have these two clowns around. These old. Hi. And Fiona just wants to be able to relax on her her new couch, and they're disrupting her. <laughs> This is what it's like having Maggie in your life. <laughs> Mind you, that's over 200 pounds worth of pups. What's up, Maggie Do? Maggie Do! Hi, pretty girl. Oh, she said, I'll get you too, Mom. And the horse and on goes on when these two are around. So, if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you want to see more videos like this. Right, Franny? Thank you.